Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 20 best remakes and remasters on PlayStation 5. But this moment... is over. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. The PS4 version of Spider-Man was already exceptional in its visual fidelity and technical performance, but when news broke about the game being used to demonstrate the PlayStation 5's capabilities, we were curious. Well, Spider-Man Remastered somehow managed to be even better than its slightly older version. In addition to crispier visuals, Spider-Man Remastered takes full advantage of the game's SSD, making it take roughly a second to fast travel from one end of the map to the other. Heck, just booting up the game and jumping into your save file takes only about 8 seconds. It's insanely fast! Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft. They couldn't have titled it any better, could they? The original Tomb Raider games haven't aged super well. The controls are super finicky and can make platforming a real hassle. While this remaster hasn't driven away from the clunky controls, Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered does manage to tighten things up a bit and even offer alternative control schemes. On top of that, the collection gives you total freedom in swapping between the original graphics and the new and improved ones. Just keep in mind that not every part of the remaster fixes the problems of the originals. They're still great games, just be aware these are still 1990s games here. Alan Wake Remastered If you tried playing Alan Wake in its original state from 2010, you would still find an enjoyable horror shooter, but the controls and technical performance could get touched up a bit. Thankfully, Remedy Entertainment did just that in 2021. Alan Wake Remastered preserves the original game while bringing it up to modern standards. You got smooth frame rates, refined controls, better visuals, the whole shebang. And hey, for 30 bucks, you're getting a pretty good deal on what was one of the coolest games to have come out on the Xbox 360 and PS3 back in the day. Blood Rain Revamped and Blood Rain 2 Revamped. Back in the old days of the sixth generation of consoles, we saw a fun assortment of games that let us play as total badasses. Blood Rain and its sequel were just two of those games. With the powers of the sexy Dampier Rain, you can slice up your enemies, suck their blood to restore life while using them as a meat shield, enter bullet time to kill enemies in slow motion, and so much more. And the cheat codes added a ton more fun to our playthroughs. Damn it. The revamped remasters preserve these gems while making the textures and character models much clearer. Trust us, these are both worth the 20 bucks. Party downstairs. Grim Grimoire once more. I had your room when I first got here. The floor is new, but it creaks a lot. You should complain to the teachers and get a new room as soon as possible. If you've been enjoying their most recent release, Unicorn Overlord, then you absolutely should check out this remaster of one of VanillaWare's very first games. 
Grim Grimoire once more puts you in the shoes of a young girl who finds her school of wizardry has been attacked with many of the other staff and students having disappeared. In order to bring everybody back, you will have to harvest resources and summon familiars while defending yourself from incoming enemies. And thanks to modern hardware, you can enjoy the breathtaking artwork complete with its fine details. This was Vanillaware at their very best. Not that they ever downgraded, but you get the idea. Like a Dragon, Ishin. To Western audiences, Ishin looked like a new spin-off for the Like a Dragon games. Well, it was. Well, back in 2014, it was. What we saw here in the West was the remake of Like a Dragon Ishin. The differences between this and the original are kind of what you would expect. Better visuals, new voice actors from newer games, so on and so forth. But the biggest change here was the combat. <laughs> Trooper cards are still a core mechanic, though it is optional to use in fights this time around. Consider it an improvement and a warm welcome for a fun spin-off in the Like a Dragon franchise. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 Just when we thought we would never get another new Tony Hawk game, Vicarious Visions dropped this incredible remake for us in 2020, with the PS5 version releasing roughly five months afterwards. A remake of the first two Pro Skater games, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 offers up hours upon hours of fun with its assortment of challenges, jam and soundtrack, and incredible customization in both skater profiles and the level editor. Honestly, it's a real shame that Activision rejected a remake of Pro Skater 3 Plus 4 and instead had Vicarious Visions absorbed into Blizzard. Such a shame, man. But this game's great. Quake 2 Remastered The remaster for the original Quake was a remarkable package in its own ways, but Quake 2 got an insane amount of love and care put into its remaster. All Night Dive Studios had to do was just make the original game crisp and clear in detail. What we got was that and all of the expansions, and the Nintendo 64 version of Quake 2, and online crossplay support, and a brand new expansion developed by Machine Games. And all it cost was just 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Yeah, we went ahead and bought this on every single platform. This right here will keep you busy for quite a while. <laughs> Diablo 2 Resurrected I can't carry anymore. In case you've been wanting a taste of classic Diablo on PlayStation 5, well, your best option is Diablo 2 Resurrected, and it's a damn good option. Just like the Tomb Raider remasters, Resurrected allows you to switch between the new and old graphics of Diablo 2 whenever you want. But just to make this remaster more of a devilishly sweet deal, it automatically includes the Lord of Destruction expansion that was released in 2001. Oh, you don't got the 40 bucks to get it now? Well, you can grab Resurrected during a sale, often at 15 or 16 bucks. And sometimes, you can even get the Primeval Edition for the same price, which includes Diablo 3. So, keep an eye out for the discounts. <laughs> Neo Remastered Neo was already a truly exceptional game when it was released back in 2017, 
Developer Team Ninja did a fantastic job at developing an action RPG clearly inspired by Dark Souls. But what separated it from the pack was the vast enemy variety that made every scenario feel like a brand new fight. Under the PlayStation 5 remaster, you can now replay the entire game while taking full advantage of the box's capabilities. And it's not just incredibly fast loading either. The remaster targets a frame rate of 120 frames per second. And if you have any friends who are still playing the original version, you can still party up with them while playing the remaster. Demon Souls. While we're at it, we should acknowledge the remake of From Software's first foray into what folks now call the Soulsborne genre. Demon Souls was pretty tough to play given the technical limitations of the PS3, but the 2020 remake developed by Blue Point Games helps preserve it now and forever. Demon Souls can now be enjoyed at a smooth 60 frames per second with seamless loading as you travel between worlds and walk through foggy doorways. Of course, don't expect this to suddenly make the game easier. You will die. A lot. Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed you don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Heine? Now, if you would prefer to experience the original Destroy All Humans and its sequel, you can do that. Both have ports made for PlayStation 4, thus making them playable on PlayStation 5. But if you want something that looks and feels next-gen with the PS5, Reprobed is where it's at. Finally! My gun was getting lonely! Man, I hate those guys! Even though the world is just like the original with its hilarious writing, Reprobed comes with some extra bells and whistles that make it feel like a slightly different game. New character models, new weapons, a new upgrade system, new enemies, and even some expanded areas of the story. You will quickly find that this remake of Destroy All Humans 2 is the best game in the franchise. Take it from a hardcore fan. Reprobed is amazing. I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker, even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly. Oddworld Soulstorm. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but not the shackles you chained to yourself. But it's over, and Rupture Farms is burned down! Those who aren't turned off by some puzzle platforming will find much to love in Oddworld Soulstorm. Right away, you can tell that developer Oddworld Inhabitants was wanting to create the look and feel of an animated epic movie. The amount of detail in the character models and animation make the whole world seem a lot stranger than they used to be. Cause we are not letting that ape guy get away from us again! As expected, some of the puzzles will probably stump you, but don't steer clear of this one just because there are puzzles. Give it a good hour or two, and you might wind up loving this one. Overcooked, all you can eat. Some of us here at Mojo Plays are big, big fans of the Overcooked games. I myself got to review Overcooked 2 as my first review as a professional. Like, it, it, it has a special place in my heart. But anyways, we're recommending All You Can Eat as it is one big remake of both Overcooked and Overcooked 2. And what makes this version so special is not just because of its upgrades and visuals and animation, it isn't just the meaty selection of different chefs to play as either. It's mostly for the fact that you have two whole games to play in one package with all of the DLC that both games got after launch. Big bang for your buck? We would say it's flambe from top to bottom.
Star Ocean, the second story, R. Star Ocean The Second Story has long been known to be the best of the franchise with its captivating story and thrilling combat. This remake of The Second Story makes it even better. Now we can relive the 1999 original with gorgeous environments, full-on voice acting, and a newly remade soundtrack by the original game's composer, Motoi Sakuraba. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! Honestly, if you love RPGs at all, Japanese, Western, whatever, do yourself a favor and pick this up as soon as you can. You will not be disappointed. Dead Space The original version of Dead Space can still be played on PC and Xbox Series XS, but unfortunately, it just hasn't aged too well with its controls and technical performance. That alone should be enough reason to pick up the remake on PlayStation 5. The 2023 iteration of Dead Space is wonderfully terrifying in how it forces you out of playing things safe. You can't progress if the only source of power is going to the lights. Add in the smooth 60 frames per second and modernized controls, and what you have is a remake for the ages. Don't sleep on this one. Pac-Man World Repack One of the biggest problems of the original Pac-Man world is the random spikes in difficulty and the stiff controls. Seriously, Anubis Rex and the cave levels are ludicrously hard compared to the rest of the game. Repack manages to make the game far more digestible by keeping levels to a proper scope and even reworking the boss fights to make them more engaging. Plus, Pac-Man can run faster than ever with abilities that are much more responsive. So if you never got to play the original on PlayStation 1, this remake delivers a far better experience that will make Pac-Man World more enjoyable for you. Here's hoping we get a Pac-Man World 2 repack. Persona 3 Reload Even though the original version released in 2006 for the PlayStation 2, Persona 3 still looks and plays just fine. The only issue is that it doesn't hold up visually when compared to Persona 5. But that is no longer a problem with Persona 3 Reload. Here, the third game gets more flair in its UI and animations while keeping almost all of the story intact. Plus, the new voice actors portray the characters so effectively that it manages to capture each and every one of them as if there was no transition at all. Not about desert. All right. no shadows detected. Resident Evil 4 <laughs> Folks were already cautious about Resident Evil 4 getting a remake, it's super hard to top such a widely beloved classic such as that. Well, Capcom went above and beyond our expectations. For starters, simply allowing players to move and shoot just like in later entries helped bring RE4 into the modern era of gaming. Then you have a tighter focus on the narrative, which manages to bring out the camp in moments that feel much more appropriate. Combine all of that with the same level of interactivity the original game had, and it was all over. RE4 once again became one of the best games ever made. How is that possible? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 
And there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Final Fantasy VII Remake was already exceptional in how it beautifully recreates the first third of the 1997 original. The music, the story, the world of Midgar, it all felt just as magical as it did back then. Yet somehow, Rebirth, the second part of the remake trilogy, came out even better than its predecessor. <laughs> From the mini-games to the expanded combat to the unique ways party members can work together, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is one of the most ambitious RPGs we have played in years. Really, it is worth every minute of your time and every cent of your dollar. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? What's your favorite remaster and remake to play on PS5? Let us know down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos every day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.